In this video, I'll be showing you how to make GIFs in GIMP. Of course, there are some alternatives. I made a video about GIFing tool if you want to watch that, but using GIMP gives you complete control, especially when it comes to starting and ending frames. So in order to do this, you need something called GIMP Animation Package, or GAP. If you already have this, you can skip to 2 minutes 16 seconds where I start working with the video. Search the internet for GIMP GAP, or I've found two links. They, they say they work for 2.6, but they do work for 2.8, and hopefully these links will still be around for a while, otherwise you might have to do some searching on your own. So just download this, and you can save it wherever you want, or you can also download it from Softpedia and save. Now go to your downloads. This is a zip archive so you need to extract it and you're going to use WinRAR to extract the files here. Now there are a bunch of things here but the only one you care about is GAP installer. Go ahead and double click this and run the installation process. It's quite quick. Select your language, hit next, agree, and doesn't matter where you install this because we're actually going to copy the files from where it's installed. So I'm just going to pick a folder and install. Finish. Just ignore this if it says it. Guarantee you it's worked already. So go into this place where you've installed it and you're going to need to copy some plugins and scripts. So in this new folder in libgimp 2.0 plugins. Since these are plugins we're going to need to copy these into where we saved plugins for GIMP. So go into where you installed GIMP on your computer which would be in your hard drive, users, the current user and GIMP 2.8 or whatever version you have and copy it into the plugins. Just copy these and paste them into the plugins folder. Now we go into the share folder GIMP 2.0 scripts. Ignore the locale there's a bunch of stuff but you don't need them. Copy these again and we're gonna paste them into scripts. Open GIMP now if you had GIMP open while we did this, you need to close and reopen it so we can rescan the plugins folder. Now you've successfully installed GAP and you notice this video tab appears. So go to video, split video into frames and extract video range. This is where you browse for your video and click this to open it. You want to click video range so you get a preview of everything on the right. Now there are, are a bunch of options here but the important ones are from frame and to frame. This controls the length of your GIF. So on the right here you can scrub through and see where you want to start or you can use these little arrow keys. I'm going to go from frame 22 up to up to about 45. Now sometimes with large videos a window might pop up saying do you want to create a video index? Say yes because this will allow you to preview the video faster. Now we want to create one multi-layer image and press OK. Now this pops up, you want to overwrite the file because every time you use GAP it will be basically working from the same file. Now you see I have a bunch of layers. These are my frames of the video. They say 41 milliseconds because because this is the amount of time they're going to appear in the GIMP animation. 1000 milliseconds divided by 24 which is the frame rate equals 41 milliseconds. Now if you want to see how it looks, go to filters, animation, and playback and click play and here's what your finished GIF will look like. Now here's my dimensions of the image. I started with a 1080p video so it's going to be quite a large file size. If you want to reduce that go to image and scale the image. Maybe we just want to have it 720p and you can scale the image and finally to actually save the GIF we go file export and you want to save this as a .gif file uncheck interlace. You can uncheck the comment because that's kind of unnecessary but you want it as an animation or else it'll be a static image. Loop it forever. Since all these images have 41 milliseconds in parentheses this actually doesn't matter. If you're creating a GIF from scratch this is the time in between frames if you left it unspecified. It's already taken care of and simply click export. Now go into an internet browser and drag where you saved the GIF drag it into the browser to see how it playback. And here was the finished product.